スタンダップザ・バンガード
for Night Miss was a booster, so one was going to be 21, and then I had a Slash Shade in my hand, so I was just going to play it and then kill it and then get Nightcrow and make the other side 23, and I still had Vanguard for 26, so it didn't matter if I hit crits or not, because he had three cards in hand, and he has to take... He has to take at least one or two. Yeah, he has to take two damage. And hope for a heal, because... And even if he uh, uh, took a damage trigger for one, three cards is not enough to guard two two stage attacks and a van, yeah. because he had no interceptors in the front, so it didn't matter. I had already just one, but like they call time, and you pretty much have to just stop playing. Yeah. So the, uh, from what I know is that they called time, and the judge came over was like either you get a double loss or you roll for it. But in as in like my understanding is that Josh was gonna win no matter what, right? Like you have a three, a PG, and a Melum. Yeah, that's obviously not enough for a three four to four attacks. So I mean, I would like if we were just play testing and I knew that I would concede because I know I would lose no matter what. Um, but I guess the person he was playing was a little like uh, stubborn and just decided that you know we're just gonna roll for it. And Josh, he rolled a six, and Josh didn't. So it was like, you know, that's unfortunate. Uh, what happened? Luckily, he was able to get into top eight. Um, but otherwise, um, if there was anything you would change from your deck or your routine from that day, what would it be? Uh, my first choice of change would have been to put in four of the mic stand triggers mm -hmm. because uh, I came really close to deck out because as the rounds got further, uh, like, further. Where like, the better, yeah, the better like uh, their decks and were decks also were able like get, to keep up. to draw also. Mm -hmm. So like, of course, the games are gonna be a little bit longer. Mm -hmm. But I never duck, uh, decked out to lose. But if I could, I probably would play add more stand sense, triggers. Yeah. I mean, those stand triggers are pretty crazy. Um, otherwise, are there any tips for other Vanguard players that are looking into? You know, I want to be serious, like, into getting into these uh, competitions and any steps that they could take to prepare for it. Uh, what I would do is I'd find other people that are, have, think the same as you, like, they want to get better too, mm -hmm. and just meet up and play, because that's the best way to get better is to just play more. Yeah, exactly. I mean, we always play all the time, so that's why we're, we're getting great. <laughs> we're getting legendary. <laughs> but, I mean, I'm super glad you got that justice for... Uh, in <laughs> top eight, and uh, you did run into a brick wall in top four with that Messiah player who luckily rode Freeze Ray. Um, but otherwise, are there any tips for Bushy Road and the way they ran the event? Anything you would, uh, you know, tell them to maybe run a little bit uh, better? Uh, I would try to at least do another day so that there's not this big time constraint where they're forcing people to like stop in the middle yeah. of their game, like. I'm, I'm pretty sure it wasn't just me because it, it can't be coincidence where like people are just about to win and like the judges are just there like a hey, double loss like yeah. you're literally on the turn you're gonna win you know it's like it <laughs> know sucks it to lose like that like and this event only happens once a year and yeah like, for singles and, and then once sucks. a year for it really TV. sucks especially yeah. for people that travel to these events you know yeah to lose like that to maybe like go that. x2 and just get scrubbed out I mean, uh, it kind of sucks, like, obviously, um, losing like that. I mean, it also goes into, like, the stubbornness and not really understanding the situations and all that, anything like that. But otherwise, you heard it here, Joshua Rafina, top, top eight, fourth place with Grand Blue. Looking forward to see what he does at Worlds. You know, we don't know what he's going to play. We're obviously going to help him play test, but best of luck to him. Thank you guys for watching. Vanguard Central, out.